In the era of high-speed information transmission, the demand for network capacity continues to grow. To meet the increasing data transmission requirements, the 100 GDWDM network has emerged. The core of implementing a 1000 DWDM network lies in the utilization of the 1000 QSFP to 8 DWDM optical module. It is designed for deployment in DWDM network equipment in metropolitan access and core networks and can achieve transmission distances of up to 80 kilometers with stable transmission and low power consumption given an optimal signal to noise ratio design in the system. DWDM, Dense Wavelength Division Multiplexing Technology, efficiently utilizes optical fiber networks by combining multiple optical signals for high capacity transmission within a single fiber. However, designing and implementing a 1000 DWDM network comes with challenges and limitations. Factors such as dispersion, fiber loss, and signal to noise ratio can impact network performance and reliability. To overcome them, several factors must be carefully considered. These include optical power levels, fiber loss calculations, and the implementation of dispersion compensation techniques. Erbium Doped Fiber Amplifier EDFA, is a special type of fiber amplifier that amplifies specific wavelengths of light by injecting erbium into the fiber core under the influence of a pump light source. Dispersion Compensation Modules DCM, also known as Dispersion Compensation Units DCU, are used to compensate for large span dispersion in transmission fibers. Additionally, non-linear effects like SPM self-phase modulation and XPM cross-phase modulation, as well as the impact of dispersion on signals, must be managed effectively to ensure efficient network operation. The process involves inserting the optical module into the switch and connecting the transmit and receive ends to the corresponding ports of the NDWDM MUX. And then, connect the DWDM MUX and an NDDFA device. At the transmit end of the EDFA device, attenuators may be added as needed to adjust optical power levels. Connect the 80 km fiber to the DCM device at the B end. At the receiving end of the DCM device, attenuators can also be added to adjust optical power levels as required before connecting it to the BNDWDM DMUX. Another optical module is connected to the BNDWDM MUX. Next, connect the DWDM MUX to the B-end EDFA device and then introduce another 80 km fiber. Connect this fiber to the NDCM device and finally connect the DCM back to the NDWDM DMUX to complete the network system connection. When the indicator lights on the switch turn green, it signifies successful network communication. Finally, monitor information displayed on the EDFA monitoring page to ensure proper communication. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.